Good credit repair companies should do these four things. These four things. And if they're not doing these four things, you might want to reconsider or at least take a step back and see what they're not doing and learn how to do those things yourself. Because it's important that all four of these things are working together in order to get your credit where you want it. And a lot of times when I educate my clients on this, you know, it's a breath of fresh air for them because they also don't mind learning those other things that they didn't know they needed. Sometimes they come to you for credit, but when you introduce other things, they realize, wow, this is what I needed. I just thought it was credit that I needed taken care of. So understand sometimes what you need comes packaged as something else, such as credit. What up? You got Mr. Smith, 0.5 of Mr. and Mrs. Smith and in this brief video slash audio, depending on where you're tuning in to this content at. I just want to talk to you about the four things that good credit repair companies should be doing in terms of your credit journey. And I'm going to get straight to it. Number one, a good credit company, first and foremost, should help you clean your credit. And that's the obvious. A lot of times people understand that companies can help you clean up your credit by getting things deleted, by getting certain erroneous items updated, you know, by getting certain items updated to positive, you know. So it's a couple of things that go into cleaning, deleting things if necessary, getting certain things updated to positive if negative, or getting things updated because it was inaccurate or incorrect on your profile altogether, such as some of your personal information, etc. All of those things are a form of cleaning up your credit so you can have a more solid profile, a quality profile. So that's what a credit repair company typically is known for doing, hopefully, doing those things. Number two that they should be doing outside of cleaning the credit, they should also be giving you things that you can do to help build the credit if necessary. So it's two things working together. We're cleaning up the stuff that, that has the credit report looking a little dirty, a little dingy, cleaning it up. But then we're doing things to build up on the credit. So now you got some good quality things being added to your credit report and negative things being pushed away. So as a whole, your credit report is starting to form into a quality score. So should, they should be helping you clean it. Also giving you guidance on things that you can do to build it. Those are two things. Number three, you should also be being educated. See, one of the things that I do to clients is share value-based content that I feel they can benefit from. So if I do a video for the masses, a lot of times I know it's a video that can benefit my clients, so I send it to them just in case they run into that scenario. Quick example, a lot of people have been gravitating to a video that I did recently where I was talking about how you can benefit from not applying for a loan through the car dealership. I pretty much say don't get your loan through a car dealership. And people are finding value in it because they never really thought about it like that for the most part. Some have, don't get me wrong, even myself did even though I didn't realize that's what I was doing. And in the video, in a nutshell, I just say, hey, the car dealerships, they run your credit umpteen times. I've seen as many as like 15 times they've ran a person credit. And, you know, it looks ugly on the report. Regardless of what they say, uh, it's not affecting it. 15 times running your credit report is uncalled for. That said, I tell them not to do that. Instead, if you have a quality relationship, a decent relationship with a bank or a credit union, go directly through them. One inquiry gives you buying power, the whole nine yards. So I break that down. I sent that to my clients and they were like, man, that makes sense. They got educated and now they know when it's time for them to get a car, because some of them are already in the market for a car, they have a different perspective on it. They know what to consider to because their options have opened up. So they should also be educating you on certain things that you can do in your personal scenario or just understand how to go about managing your credit so that you don't have to hire them again or hire them or keep them for longer than necessary. So they should also be educating you. And last but not least, and this is the one that a lot of people need and don't even realize they need because they just been focused on fixing their credit. They should also give you ways or things that you can do to help you increase your cash flow whether it's making extra money or just getting more cash flow out of the money that you're already generating. It should be some things that they're teaching you to increase your cash flow. Why is this important? Because credit a lot of times is based on debt. And if debt is a problem or the thing that's kind of helping or keeping the score from being less than ideal or keeping the score from being what it could be, then guess what? 
you can benefit from paying down some of that debt, whether that's student loan, car note, personal loan, credit cards. Paying that debt down will benefit your score. But a lot of times people are spread a little thin and they may just have just enough to pay for the credit repair services, but not enough to do certain things. They just need to get some stuff cleaned up. Well, if you help them increase their cash flow, not only can it help with the retention of you being able to afford the credit services, but it also helps you have more cash flow so you can pay down the debt faster, pay down the credit cards faster, get that utilization low like I like to talk about. You do that stuff faster. You're able to save money faster. You're able to get a different quality of life a lot sooner because you realize that the extra cash flow was really the key source to help you hit all of your goals a lot faster in addition to the other things that you needed to better your credit. So those are the four things a good credit report, I mean, a good credit repair company should be doing in order to make sure that they're best serving their client. And if you have a credit repair company that you're working with or used to work with, whatever the case may be, or futuristically, whatever credit repair services that you choose, if it's not us, if it is great, you know, you can set up a free consultation. If it's not us, no big deal, but find out what they're not doing so you can at least do it yourself. So if they're doing the cleaning only, which is what many companies do, then you need to figure out what you can do to build credit. You need to figure out what you can do to educate yourself. And we give you a free credit class down below. Take advantage of it if you have not already. And you need to figure out ways that you can generate more cash flow. So if they're doing one, figure out how you can learn all three, the other three. If they're doing two, figure out how you can learn the other two. If they're doing three, then figure out how you can learn the other one. But if they're doing all four, then in my book, they're a good credit restoration company worthy of being valued. Follow the process. Don't go against the grain on the things that they're suggesting and encouraging you to do. But hopefully this video has served you. If not, share this with somebody else who you feel may benefit. That's all I got for this video. Understand those four things and you will save yourself time, energy, and money and you will know how to keep your credit intact and keep your cash flow on track so you can hit your goals faster than you thought possible. Mr. Smith signing out. Salute.